Ever since I moved to Calgary, I've been longing to witness the Rocky Mountains. So I embarked on a solo day trip to Banff. Come join me in this video as I explore the beauty of the Canadian Rockies and share with you some valuable travel guide. What's up guys, my name is Shaman Sharman, welcome back to my channel. So today is 15th of September, right now the time is 6.30 a.m. Today is going to be a very exciting day because I'm going to Banff National Park. This is one of the popular parks here in Canada and I'm really excited to go to Banff National Park. There's a direct bus from here to Banff uh, that is called On Tran Oni Transit. I'm just waiting for the bus. My bus is supposed to leave at 6.40 from here, from Bridalwood, Somerset Terminal. If you guys do not know, I'm in Calgary right now. I moved to Alberta on 24th of August. It's gonna be an exciting day and I'm gonna go to Lake Louise, Lake Moraine and downtown Bath. So watch the video till the end and if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I relocated to Calgary a month back and since then I really really wanted to witness the beauty of the Rocky Mountains. So Banff was definitely on my list. If you have access to a car and can stay for a few days, you can easily explore the beauty of Banff National Park. The fact that I don't have a job and don't own a car, I didn't know if Banff was doable on a budget. Until I came to know of the direct bus service from Calgary to Banff called Oni Transit which costs just $10 one way. Rocky Mountains are different from the Himalayan Mountains that I've seen back home. So looking at these huge rock formations with unique shapes was very special. If you're going on your own vehicle, there are a lot of places and vantage points to stop by on the way to Banff. As we approached Banff, the mountains got closer and closer and the view was breathtakingly beautiful. Welcome back. I'm finally at Banff. It's 9.15 a.m. right now. It's kind of chilly, you know. It's a beautiful town and it feels like as if I have come to a hill station, you know, like MG Mark in Gangtok, Darjeeling. Feels like that. <laughs> 12 o'clock, I have a shuttle to Lake Louise. So till the time, I'm going to explore this town and maybe just chill around. Banff is a charming little town set in the heart of the Canadian Rockies. There is no dearth of natural beauty and grandeur here. Trust me when I say this, everywhere you look around the scenery is breathtakingly beautiful. Very excited to be here. I have plans to visit Lake Louise and Lake Moraine today. My plan was also to go for a small hike but I don't have a lot of time because I have a shuttle from Banff to Lake Louise at 12 p.m. I'm just going to explore downtown Banff and I might go to Bow Falls that's not very far from here. I've just come here for a solo day trip. I'm gonna return back at around 5.30 from here. Uh, Lake Louise and Lake Moraine are the two places that I'm gonna cover today. Lake Moraine is one of the most beautiful lakes, that's what I've heard. So I'm very excited and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, coming to Banff requires a lot of planning. My ticket from Calgary to Banff, I had to book like two weeks in advance. 
it's relatively cheap one way it's ten dollars and from BAMP to Lake Louise again you have to book a home transit uh, you can even book a, a one day pass or super pass you have to also book a shuttle from Lake Louise to Lake Moraine if you want to go to Lake Moraine because private vehicles are not allowed in Lake Moraine even in Lake Louise vehicles are allowed but parking is very difficult to get so that's why it's very important to book a shuttle and uh, everything in advance the only early timing from which I could get reservation from Banff to Lake Louise was 12 p.m. and the return from Lake Louise to Banff was around 3.42 p.m. The sad part is if you miss your shuttle for the time for which you have booked, you have to get an unreserved line. You don't have to pay for the ticket again but you'll not be given priority to get inside the shuttle. I have shared all the links for shuttle and bus reservations that's required to visit places around Banff in the description. Lively streets of downtown Banff are filled with hotels, restaurants, cafes, bars and stores. The list of things to do in Banff is both varied and limitless. My visit was just for a day and due to shuttle timings, I really didn't have a lot of options. But if you are here for a couple of days, there are plenty of places to explore. Just having great time, you know. It's such a beautiful place, Banff. Downtown itself, just a casual walk around the town itself is so beautiful. It's heading towards the Bow Falls. Bow Falls is at a distance of one kilometer or thirty minutes from downtown Banff. It's a small hike, mostly flat, though there are some sets of wooden stairs to climb up and down. The trail begins in the town of Banff and follows through a forested area along the Bow River. There are some nice viewpoints along the way of the river and surrounding mountains and benches to enjoy the scenery. It gives you a nice introduction to the beauty you'll see on the rest of your Banff trip. The trail is very well maintained and the scenery is beautiful. So next time you're in Banff, don't forget to visit Bow Falls. I'm going back to downtown now after checking out the Bow Falls. It's already 11.15. I have to be there 15 minutes before 12. That is quarter to 12. I got tired because it's been a while. I haven't hiked, you know, but it's a beautiful place. Had I gone for some hike, even Tunnel Mountain hike, it would take time. So it's good I came to the Bow Falls and now I'm going to take the shuttle for Lake Louise. It's going to be awesome. So guys, I already missed the bus for Lake Louise, I was, my reservation was 12 p.m. However, the line was so long that I didn't get a chance. So the next bus is at 1 p.m. and my return bus from there is at 3.42 p.m. So I'm not really sure if I'll be able to do both Moraine Lake and Lake Louise. It's kind of bad, you know, I arrived here like 20 minutes earlier, but still just one hour of wastage. I'll try to go to Moraine Lake first and then spend some time there and then while returning back go to Lake Louise. Let's see. I had arrived at the bus stop 20 minutes early. Since they only sell limited tickets, I was wondering how could I have not made it. Later I realized there were actually two lines. One was for the reserved ticket holders and the other for the unreserved lines. From the end I could see only one line so I got in the unreserved line and missed my shuttle. The bus took exactly one hour. So I arrived at Lake Louise Lakeshore at 2 p.m. From here Lake Louise is mere 100 meters. I had reservation for Park Canada shuttle for 1 to 2 p.m. window. I quickly obtained the boarding pass for Lake Louise to Lake Moraine shuttle, hoping that I would have time to visit Lake Louise on my return. Guys, I made it to Lake Louise Lakeshore, so I'm not gonna spend time here. I'm gonna go directly to Lake Moraine because I don't have much time. So I got the ticket for Lake Moraine from Parks Canada. I had already made the reservation. The banner that you see behind me, that is the line for Lake Moraine. So let's go. It takes approximately 30 minutes to reach Lake Moraine from Lake Louise. So by the time I reached Lake Moraine, it was already 2.45 p.m. 
made it to Moraine Lake. It's already 2.30. I literally have like 30 minutes to spend time on this lake. Lake Louise and Lake Moraine are among the most visited destinations in Canada. Considering these lakes remain frozen most of the time, the best time to visit these lakes and witness the brilliant color is from June to October. Lake Louise and Moraine Lake usually melt by late May. Guys, look behind me. This is Moraine Lake. Such a beautiful lake. The color of the water is spectacular. It's so green. Wow. So glad I came here. There are many fun activities to do at Moraine Lake. One of the must-do activities is climbing up the rock pile, a popular choice among visitors due to the breathtaking view from the top, where the vibrant blue water appears serene. You can also rent a canoe, which is $140 for one hour, costly for a solo traveler like me. You can also go on a large valley hike, which is enchanting during the fall season. I did not have the luxury of the time to experience any of those. I just have like 20 minutes to spend time on this lake because I have to go to Lake Louise as well and then I have to catch a shuttle back to Banff and it's all time to shuttle, you know. I'm just gonna walk up to the other end. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time, I regret, you know. Guys, I'm probably gonna climb up the rock pile now and spend some time there and then I'm gonna go to Lake Louise. And I'm not really sure if I'll be able to make it to Lake Louise on time. So guys, I'm not gonna climb up the rock pile. I really wanted to, but you know, I really don't have time. There are a lot of people, and then you have to uh, go with the flow of the people, you know. And I really wanted to, but I don't, I can't because I don't have much time. So I'm gonna uh, take the shuttle to Lake Louise. That's all from Moraine Lake. It was such a beautiful lake, and I wish I come back again here. But uh, I couldn't do the rock pile hike. That's sad, but uh, I'm gonna do it the next time. heading from Lake Moraine to Lake Louise. Uh, I feel bad, you know, that I couldn't spend a lot of time on Lake Moraine. I couldn't even do the uh, rock pile. I just just looked at the lake and it's so beautiful. But anyway, I'm gonna come back next time. I know the process now, how to come, you know, how to book shuttle and all that. So I'm gonna come back again, maybe once I get a job. Despite spending only a brief time at Lake Moraine and skipping Lake Louise, I missed my 3.42 p.m. bus to Banff. I had to wait another hour for the next bus which was already full. Thankfully, they allowed us to stand on the bus. However, I made the most of the situation by enjoying the scenic views of the Trans-Canada Highway while standing next to the driver. Overall, I enjoyed the solo trip a lot though it didn't go as planned and I had to rush. But I'm definitely coming back again until I don't get PR, managing job and travel will be challenging. But traveling and creating videos are my passion, so I'll never stop following them. Canada is an incredibly beautiful country with diverse landscapes and amazing people, and I'm eager to explore many more places in the coming months. So guys, I made it to Banff from Lake Louise. Lake Louise Lake Shore actually. I couldn't go to Lake Louise because I didn't have time, so I just went to Lake Moraine, and from there I took a bus to Banff. Actually, I missed the first bus, so I had to wait for another bus, you know. From here, I'm gonna go to Calgary. My bus is at 5.30 p.m. and it's five o'clock right now. I'm definitely gonna come back again here and uh, check out more places, you know. Maybe do a couple of hiking as well. 
but for now for today just lake morin was good enough it was a very beautiful lake banff is a beautiful place and if you like the content of the channel please do like comment subscribe and share i hope you like the video i'll see you in the next one bye ciao